The damage was obviously incredible, but the derecho had a much more permanent impact on those who lived through it. It was amazing that it was just a windstorm. I mean, it was rain and wind, that was it. There wasn't a tornado or anything, and it still managed to destroy all sorts of things. It just kind of hit out of nowhere, and it was mass destruction. Abby was newly pregnant at the time and had a young son. She had taken him to the sitter and was getting ready to leave for work. The worst part for me was not knowing what was going on with my son. So the whole time, I'm just terrified and I'm worried for him and I know he's probably upset and freaking out because the power at that point has gone off and and the sounds of the of the storm coming in and the windows were shaking I mean I was I was really afraid for him at that point I really was Abby's son was four at the time and still remembers the storm also not a big fan of weather and I tried to call my husband and I tried to call my sitter and I couldn't get a hold of anybody it was it was really scary. <laughs> Witnessing a storm like that firsthand really sticks with you, no matter how old you were at the time. All of a sudden, uh, my cat, my counselor said, "You have to get inside now." Laura was five years old, getting ready to leave zoo camp for the day. And they were motioning people to everybody, all parents, from their cars to leave the cars and go inside. I took one look at the radar online somewhere and it, it was really clear that it was something really serious. And I just told her one thing. I said, fine, Laurel, get inside. My heart started beating like really fast. And I was like, oh, yeah. I was getting like really scared about that. It's, it's never quite left her mind that that, that that happened and how scary it was and how big it was. So whenever the sky starts to get a little bit dark, she's, she's interested in what's going on and she's real careful and you know she was young but she wasn't doing that before that happened. I could easily relay because when I was her age at five I went through the April 3rd 74 tornadoes. It took me a few years to get over you know when you hear the wind blowing it is something common. That common experience allowed Alyssa to help Laurel work through her fear of weather. We repeat the same thing to her whenever she gets rattled when the weather comes in. Don't be scared be careful. If you or someone you know could benefit from counseling or talking to a professional about a fear of weather, go to Wayne.com right now. In our story, Remembering the Duratio, five years later, you'll find contact information for some area specialists. Hannah Strong, News Channel 15.